Okay, so this will be the second uh, video on um, some of the older journals that I've made that I wanted to sort of flip through so that um, so you guys could see them. And, you know, honestly, like, my motivation in putting out, like, flip through videos of journals is mostly so that I have some kind of record of them and also so that anybody who's interested in purchasing one um, has the ability to come and see basically the whole book. So, um, and also it's, it's fun to share, right? So anyway, so I have these three that I'd like to show you. One is a ring bound journal that, um, I really, 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 really love. I love pink and orange together. It's just like, mm, delicious. So there's that one. And then this is a, um, standard kind of junk journal style book, um, stitch, pamphlet stitch. Um, you know, like, anyway, that one, and then this one is basically just, um, plain paper, um, uh, coffee dyed, um, greeting card paper, watercolor paper. So I'll show this one first and, um, kind of get it out of the way. It's pretty quick. Um, and just some seam binding on here. Um, and, uh, you know, fastens on a big heavy button on there. So with some um, decorative corners and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And I tried to be as careful as I could in, uh, <laughs> lining those up to, to make them straight. So pretty sturdy though, little book. I just love the feeling of old books. They just feel really cool to me, especially, uh, textbooks. So, and this is an old textbook and I use a lot of the uh, book pages out of that, the speed studies, uh, books. I had a couple of these, so, and I love the paper anyway, very, very, um, simple. It's, um, this has a magnet, whoops, really sturdy little magnet. <laughs> yeah. In there. So, and I didn't put anything in there. This is really for you to fill with your own stuff. So, I do generally attach a piece of um, canvas on the inside of the of the uh, spine, mostly just to cover up that ugly part in there. But um, it also just helps with um, the structure. So, yeah. So this is just four signatures of coffee dyed um, watercolor paper, glue strings and stuff. But um, yeah. And then inside each signature, I did attach a couple little like paper charms. Um, yeah, but relatively plain and, um, but I really like it. Each page is, is, uh, you know, each one is coffee dyed and I didn't even round the corners on them. I just thought I liked them the way they were. So, and then like a library pocket in the back. So there's that one. And if I was a journaler or something like that, or if I was into drawing or something like that, I, I think that would be a fun, a fun book. So, um, and then this one is, um, also an old, uh, an old book that's repurposed and I didn't use any kind of treatment on the cover at all. I basically just left it the way it was kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but it still has some old, uh, wear and, and stuff like that. Like the corners are kind of worn and, um, but all in all it's in really good shape. So, and I used a pamphlet stitch on this one, like I said, in three signatures, um, hitch post on the front with the, um, seam binding attached on the back with an eyelet to close it. Um, <clears throat> some tags and pockets throughout a couple more of those, uh, greeting cards that I showed in another video that I got, I got, I love these. They turned out, I wish I would have bought more of them, um, from, uh, Tuesday morning. It's like a greeting card kit. Lots of space for writing in this book as well.
Yeah, I used a lot of those greeting cards in this book. Flip up. Ah. There. <laughs> Some um, postage stamps. I like to have those inside the book as much as possible. Tarot card. <laughs> From a seed packet. Well, actually, it was a box. Seed box. Yeah, see, lots of, lots of writing space. Lots of just plain pages in here. Has. We'll flip up there. The last signature. A couple little. It's like scooching up a little too far there. Now that I think about it, I maybe I might go back and do a little bit of stamping in this book just on some of the pages and um, you know, a little bit, maybe, maybe not. I sort of like it just like this. A lot of tabs for organizing. A lot of this paper is just uh, basically just printer paper, pretty thin. the original um, library pocket in there, Spokane Public Library. So there's that one. And then um, the last one is this ring bound journal that um, I really, like I said, I just love it. I just think it's so pretty. Um, oversized rings. Um, and I didn't attach any, I didn't tie anything onto them or anything like that. You, you know, if someone else felt like doing that, there's room for you to do that. <laughs> so, and these uh, paper flowers are all um, inked up with ink of gold in a couple different colors the pink and the gold. Oh. And I did uh, dye the seam binding with some kind of alcohol spray. Oh, and this is an old piece of um, like satin trim that I got from my mom. I love it. Graphics fairy images. I guess this 
book sort of has a little bit of a, oh, that's the same image I didn't even realize. Uh, sort of a bohemian kind of feeling to it, I guess. I sort of like that. And I used reinforcements on a lot of the pages in here, wherever I felt like uh, they needed it. I didn't do it on front and back, but, um, you know, I think if you're, as long as you're aware of it, then, you know, they'll be fine. So, I put a couple of little booklets in here. And each of these is, like, folds out like that. Each page does that. So, I put a lot of information in that little booklet. Personally, I don't really like ring-bound journals that much, but um, I know some people do because they're easy to move things around and put them where you want and add to them and stuff like that. So I tried to use up a little bit of washi tape in this book too. Um, not too much, but... Little tag from the flow book in there. Washi. <laughs> this is onion skin paper. I attached quite a few cutouts uh, in here that I. Um, basically painted with the ink of gold. Yeah, there's some quite a bit of washi tape in here. Lots and lots of um, pages in here. Um, that, that's one thing I do like about um, ring bound journals. It's easy to use up smaller pieces of paper. And that's generally why I do it. But also because if the spine of the book is just trashed, um, it's a good way to still be able to use the front and back cover without actually like constructing a new spine. That ring keeps, well, I guess it's fine. It's just that I have it twisted a little bit. Maybe I should replace that ring. I think I'll replace that ring. sticker. Yeah, lots of pages in here. This is an envelope that I made out of a uh, book page decoupaged uh, paper napkin on there. postage stamps. Did use some a few tabs in here. Oh, it just goes like that. If 
bunch of those stickers are actually from that flow book as well. Lots of butterflies in here too. Okay, there's the last page. Oh, I think. <laughs> I'll flip up. Yeah, that's the last page. So just put a couple little tags in here. And this is the original pocket that was in the book. It says Milton John Shoemaker Memorial Collection. Oh, I probably destroyed some like you know old super collectible special book or something. I hope not. And anybody that gets upset about people um, repurposing vintage books, oh well. I mean, sorry, like. You know, I bought the book and it belongs to me, so they do whatever I want with it. Um, and it's not that I don't respect them or whatever, I, I do, or I guess I, I should say I'm showing my own brand of love for them by reusing them. So anyway, there's those three. Um, and these are, like I said, all three are listed on Etsy kind of further back in the shop. So um, I do have sections on there. So uh, obviously one for ring bound journals and then uh, like medium size, oversized, and then minis. So they're kind of split out like that in my shop. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys. If you like them, um, give me a thumbs up and um, thanks for subscribing. That's pretty cool. Subscribe if you haven't and um, you'll get a notification that I posted a new video. You know the drill. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.